With carbon fiber winglets, a vertical tail fin strake, and a new tail cone, the French manufacturing aerospace company Dayer Socata is widely known for its simplistic designs and extraordinary features. The TBM 900 is a single-engine turboprop jet that has redefined what Dayer Socata is known for. The jet, which is small and exquisite, boasts of having minimal drag, a more controlled cabin due to lower vibration levels, a quieter cabin, and a lot more. Before we get onto that, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. It helps us a lot with the YouTube algorithm and lets us know that we are helping to enrich lives out there. If you are into aviation, have a look at our new aviation compilation channel, Aviation Central. It is the first link in the description and we would highly appreciate it. So without further ado, let's begin the video. The Dayer TBM 900 is a family of very fast, single-engine turboprop business jets that offer improved efficiency with an enhanced comforting environment on board for both the passengers and the pilot. It features an automated pressurization system and new design seats to increase passenger comfort which is different from its predecessor. While the TBM 900 is known for giving new glory to Dayer Socata, it still retains most of the design features of its predecessor, the TBM 850. Its airframe and power plant are similar to the ones used in the TBM 850. The TBM 900 has a fail-safe structural design that has an airframe made from aluminum alloys, high-strength steel, and advanced composite materials, which helps the jet maximize its durability and structural strength and minimize its overall jet weight. The Dayer TBM 900 also has some other key design elements, such as its five-blade propeller, which is integrated with the jet's new inlet, which results in more thrust and further helps improve the jet's takeoff distance, climb, and cruise speed. With its ability to fly farther and faster, the TBM 900 has captivated a lot of pilots, aerospace fans, and travelers. The jet obtained type certification and entered the production phase and Dayer Socata unveiled the first TBM 900 jet in March 2014. In 2014, when the TBM 900 was introduced to business aviation, it was widely known for providing a new competitive edge by delivering even more on the right combination of speed, performance, efficiency, and fuel consumption. The TBM 900 is not alone in business aviation. It has its series manufactured also. While it used to be the fastest jet at its peak time, numerous jets have been manufactured, which has taken its glory and left the Dayer Socata TBM 900 as a historical jet in business aviation. Although it is still very active and many still find it as a top choice or priority. Between 2014 and 2016, a total of 114 TBM 900 jets were built. In April 2016, Dayer Socata introduced the TBM 930 and in April 2017, the manufacturing company also introduced the TBM 910. In March 2019, the TBM 940 was also introduced. All of these new series have new upgrades and new features. The Dayer TBM 900 provides a large, quiet, air-conditioned, comfy luxury cabin with a seating arrangement for six passengers and two crew members on board. The seats on this jet are made with leather and their seat surfaces are blended with top grain leather, which makes it extra comfy for passengers when they decide to adjust the backrests and fold the armrests of their seats. In the center cabin of the TBM 900, there is a large folding executive table that can be used for meetings and other table uses. Passengers on the TBM 900 can enter the cabin through a large electric door, stairs, and a ramp. This jet has seven rectangular windows with pull-down sunshades and an automatic dual-zone environmental control system. The lighting system on board is well arranged with dome lights, baggage compartment lights, and access staircase lighting. Individual reading lights are also provided at all seats. There are also entertaining facilities on the jet, which include an iPod, XM satellite music, and radio. Passengers on board are provided with a 12, 24-volt, and USB power outlet that can keep their gadgets fully charged as they journey to their destination. The Dare TBM 900 also has a storage cabinet, but it is only provided optionally. The cabin measures 14.96 feet in length and 4 feet in height and width. The maximum volume 
is 13 feet cubed. The length of the luggage area is 19.2 inches and the height is 35.8 inches. The TBM900 is powered by the reliable PT6A single turboprop engine, which is manufactured by Pratt & Whitney Canada. The engine has a thermodynamic rating of 1825 horsepower with a flat rated output of 850 shops. It was designed to provide efficiency and a low cost of operation as well as easy maintenance. The jet has a range of 1730 Nm and a climb rate of 31,000 feet. It also has a cruise speed of 330 KTAS and FL280, which gives owners, passengers and pilots the advantages of the typical cruising speeds of light jets with the economical direct operating costs of a single-engine turboprop. The jet has a five-blade Hartzell propeller, which reduces noise and improves takeoff performance. The availability of thrust reversal on the TBM900 substantially improves safety margins over jets without these capabilities when flying into shorter fields, particularly when the surface is wet, allowing landing on extremely short trips and runways safely using less than 2,430 feet. The TBM900s have an exhaust that was redesigned for better efficiency, resulting in maximizing the airflow through the engine and improving high altitude performance. The maximum takeoff weight for the TBM900 is 3,354 kilograms, with a maximum payload of 703 kilograms for its ISR version. Due to its size, the Dare TBM900 can accommodate short runways or short unpaved surfaces. Based on the other aircraft of the Dare TBM family, the TBM900 is fitted with a reclined panel, which provides better instrumentation to improve passengers' and pilots' comfort experience on board when flying. Its avionics now feature the Garmin G1000 system with three screens. The outer pilot flying displays both have 10.4-inch screens, while the central multifunction display features a 15-inch screen. The G1000 supports a wealth of advanced avionics options, including an advanced autopilot with automatic yaw trim, controller pilot data link control, synthetic vision technology, GPS WAAS for the satellite-based approach system, for approaches at austere airfields, and satellite-based weather reports. The new 28-volt 300A starter generator system now supports the avionics. Instrument descriptions and labeling were re-engineered to make instrumentation reading essentially easy and yield more panel room for sight comfort. The new ergonomic yoke on board is made to fit the pilot's hand like a glove. It has integrated push buttons for control wheel steering, ATC ident, storm scope and comm frequency swap, putting everything at the pilot's fingertips. The redesigned panel includes two built-in USB power ports as well as a conventional 12-volt charger socket to keep your electronics fully charged. The TBM900 is the first single-engine turboprop to feature single lever control. A single ergonomically designed lever controls the engine power, propeller and engine condition. In addition, its new electronic power center allows the TBM900 to start almost twice as fast as its predecessors and its automatic starter cutoff reduces pilot workload during the startup sequence. The lower panel was redesigned to provide easier access to the de-icing, interstitial separator and other controls as well as to provide more legroom for taller pilots. Pressurization settings are now completely automatic. The landing gear control system was redesigned for easy identification of gear status and to ease troubleshooting. The exterior height for the TBM900 measures 14 feet 4 inches with the wingspan of 42 feet 1 inch and a length of 35 feet 2 inches. Owning a Dare Cicada TBM900 comes at a price. When it first hit the business aviation market, the TBM900 cost and delivery were perfect at approximately $3.71 million. Depending on numerous factors, the average price for a pre-owned Dare Cicada TBM900 is $2,988,800. According to Guardian Jet, the TBM's annual fixed cost based on 300 hours a year is $78,000 for the crew members, $17,300 for hangars, $5,434 for its hull insurance and $20,000 for its liability insurance. Well guys, that's it for the video. 
click the links to check out some of our other videos. Moreover, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. We have many great videos coming up. Thank you so much for watching this one, and we will see you in the next video.